Okay, so to get started, let's define what is a scientific report. So a scientific report, according to uh, the Wai Wai Kato uh, Library, this is a university in, in New Zealand. It is a document that describes the proceeds, progress, and or results of scientific progress or scientific research on a given problem. So sabi po, uh, process. So kung paano ba uh, ina-approach ang isang research or um, kung paano ba uh, nag-perform ng experiments ang mga dalubhasa or ang mga investigators para maintindihan yung isang topic or masagot ang isang research question. So um, keyword here as well is uh, um, progress. So progress, kasi meron pong mga tinatawag tayong long-term study sa yung pong mga uh, investigasyon or mga pag-aaral na hindi nyo po matatapos sa isang attempt lang. Minsan po, these studies could take 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 20 years or 40 years um, um, uh, in total. So dito po, sa mga long-term projects po na yan, uh, long-term research activities na yan, um, every once in a while po, ang ating mga dalubahasa or mga investigators in, in, involved in such initiatives, nag publish po sila ng mga um, article. So yun po, uh, that's what we call a pro progress or, or updates. Um, and or yung results. Kasi gaya nga po na sinabi natin, pagdating sa ating sa ating pag-experiment sa high school, no, um, ang intention ng pag-perform uh, ng class at room activities is for us to be able to gather results. Results that we can actually interpret and, you know, uh, use to justify an answer or, uh, or to come up with a conclusion. So yun po yung mga uh, yung basic definition ng scientific report. And then another aspect of it that uh, was added in this definition is that the scientific report might also include recommendations and conclusion of the research. Okay, so yung pong ating figures, yung ating workflow dyan sa baba uh, ng slide na pinapakita ko, this is actually to re-emphasize the message of Marty. So um, research um, starts with ideation, nagpo-progress to experimentation, and then data processing. So pagdating po ng data processing, mas maiintindahan na ninyo, ano bang sense ng, ng, ng experimental results na, na, na nakuha nyo? Is that sufficient enough to support your conclusion? And then if, if that is so, kung kapag sapat na ang datos para makakapag-conclude kayo or meron natutunan, quote-unquote natutunan, um, does it end there? No. So ang, ang, if you decide to become a researcher, Parte ng responsibilidad mo ay ang i-communicate or i-share ang lahat ng natutunan mo. And this is actually done through science communication. And scientific reporting is just one form of it. Gaya nga ng pagkakasabi ni Marty. And then, yung keyword, ano po? Communication. Scientific communication, science report, or scientific articles. So, this is, so, ang, ang, when, you, when you talk about communication, if you go to the fundamental, um, uh, for, fundamentals of communication. Um, Malawang participants po sa communication. It's actually the source of information and the recipient of the information. So before tayo mag-discuss kung ano ba yung abstract, ano ba yung introduction, results, discussion, conclusions, um, it's very important na alam po natin yung intention. Bakit ba tayo nagsusulat ng scientific article? So let's start with the why. So if you are a researcher, for example, kayo po ay um, guro at meron kayong team members sa mga estudyante and you're all working together um, um, to answer a research question. So ang, kapag nagsulat po kayo ng scientific article, ang main objective nyo doon is to share the information that you during the study and to interpret your findings para po maikalat yung natutunan nyo na, oh, okay, we performed this study, ito yung natutunan namin, hopefully magamit ninyo, no? ma-apply ninyo sa buhay. But then, um, when you're writing your scientific article, you actually have to write it in the right language and in a form that is actually understandable and relatable to a broad scope of audience. So bakit ko ba sinasabing broad scope of audience? Kasi ang atin pong mga magbabasa of uh, our scientific articles have different motivations kung bakit ba nila binabasa yan. So unang-una, meron po tayo mga estudyante at mga guru or researchers who, are, who would read or who will actually attempt to read your article to gather data and, um, and, and learnings na pwede nilang magamit that they can leverage or use or apply for their own studies. So baka po kung ano yung natapos ninyo sa inyong science investigatory project or sa inyong college thesis, baka gamitin nila yung information na yun to come up with a follow-up to your study. So sila yung magtutuloy ng inyong mga ginawa. So again, kung hindi po ninyo i-re-report ang inyong naaral ng maayos, eh di baka po these uh, students and teachers or uh, researchers might end up just repeating the exact same things that you did. 
So, wag po natin gawin yon, Kasi ano, wag natin sayangan ang resources at ang oras nila. So, you know, i-consider po ninyo na every time that you're writing up uh, as a report, you're, you are contributing something to the, to the scientific community. Um, yung second naman po, some researchers or, or readers will, will go over your article to verify your, fun, your findings. Kasi nga po, kung sinusubukan nilang kopyahin yung method na ginamit ninyo, um, Usually po, they validate the method by repeating your experiment. So it's very important din po that you write this up in such a way na you will enable them to um, re replicate your result. Diyan po, madalas nagkakaroon ng debate ang mga tao na, oh, binasa ko tong paper na to, sinunod ko yung mga sinabi nila, pero hindi ko ma... ma hindi ko... Hindi, hindi ko uh, ma-reproduce yung results. Either mali sila na ginagawa or may maling ginawa yung author. So that's the reason why, again, it's very important that you focus on the quality and the level of detail uh, when writing up your 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 um, scientific article. And then ito po, yung pangatlo naman pong tipo ng uh, magmambabasa, which I did not list down here, is uh, those, um, for example, um, uh, people like me who's... Um, Bread and butter is essentially reading up scientific articles kasi scientist po kami. So kailangan po, we're updating ourselves. Ano na ba nangyayari sa field? So babasahin namin yan because we're curious, not necessarily because we're interested in pursuing the exact same type of research. So again, kailangan po, you actually have to um, be aware of all these considerations. Hindi nyo po kasi ito, bab, isusulat lang just for the heck of writing something up. Just for... Um, uh, just 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 to actually um, satisfy a requirement so kailangan po when you write a scientific report you're thinking about you know the possible the potential readers of of your article